That opening prayer. Now that we have the presence of the Lord Almighty, we can commence with our program. Ladies and gentlemen, you are invited and we are grateful that you honored the invitation to attend the launch of this empowerment program. My name is Umar Rutanda Amadou. I'm a journalist. I'll be your MC for this afternoon and I'm very, very much honored to be here with you. And I want to introduce quickly a number of key personalities who are on the front row sitting with the Vice President. There are so many dignitaries in our midst, of course. We have our traditional rulers, Nime, Kename, we greet you all, thank you so much. Sarakei Nzongo, Kuna Sakane Monan, Mungo de Muku Sosei Kamankunzo, Ango de Muku. Members of the armed forces, members of the police service who are here in our midst, we are grateful, members of the media. We have on the high table a number of dignitaries. Because of time, we may not be able to acknowledge everybody, yes, but we'll do as much as we can. The Honorable Alexander Akwetiakwa is the Deputy Minister for Health. He's been sent by his minister to come and grace this occasion. Please give us a wave. Thank you so much for joining us. Mr. Kofi Ofotu Nkansa, a CEO of NIP. Thank you so much for coming to support us for this one. Thank you very much, Maru Sanda Madu. Your Excellency, the Vice President of our Republic, the Presidential Candidate of our Great Party, NPP. And by the grace of God, Inshallah, Inshallah, Insha Allah, Rabana Athena Fidunia Hassanata, Wafi Hairatu Hassanata, Wakina Azabana, that come the seventh of December, the altar will speak for him. His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Baumia. The Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection, Honorable Dakwa Newman. My senior, Honorable Obi Yamua, Minister of State, Local Government. I've seen other Deputy Ministers here present. Honorable Irina Toshi Adolati, the Administrator of the Common Fund. My regional chairman and a divine Otu Agohum. I've seen the chief fire officer here with us. The chief executive of Medina, Honorable Jennifer Dede Echabing, and other chief executives here present. 
parliamentary candidates for Medina and Adentang constituents. The contractor and consultant to this project, distinguished invited guests, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to join the chiefs and people of Medina to welcome His Excellency the Vice President of the Republic, Al Haji Dr. Muhammad Baumia, to the commissioning of the two hostels and skills training centers for migrant female headquarters, popularly called Kayayi, in Medina and Ashaima, respectively. Indeed, Mr. Vice President, we are grateful for, for you to take off your business schedule to be with us this afternoon for this significant milestone to address a social problem in the greater Accra region and to a large extent our country. I also extend my sincere gratitude and deep appreciation to the administrator of the Common Fund, my sister Ari Natoshi Adolati, and colleagues ministers Nimek and Name for their immense contributions towards the construction of this all-important edifice and I welcome you all. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pride and pleasure and a sense of accomplishment that we gather here today to witness the commissioning of these hostels and skill training for female migrant porters. These two projects are the testament of the commitment of the government of Leonardo Dangwa Kufado and His Excellency the Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Baumia, that we have delivered our promise. Today, commissioning here in Medina and Ashaman, the facilities is a significant milestone in our efforts to provide safe and dignified housing and skill training for our Kayaye who have come into the city in search of better economic opportunities. These women, most of them are young, often face harsh living conditions, including overcrowding, lack of sanitary facilities, and exposure to various forms of exploitation. These facilities and training centers will therefore provide them with a safe, secure place to live while acquiring a requisite vocational skills for lifelong productive ventures. Your Excellency, you may recall that the funding of this project from the District Assembly Common Fund reflects government dedication whose office have clearly taken an interest in this project and have been monitored right from the beginning to this day. Common Fund have been instrumental in for their wonderful understanding, cooperation, and improving the lives of these vulnerable people, regardless of where they come from. To the team at the Regional Coordinating Council, I say a big echo to their diligent work in overseeing the procurement and execution to this project and the consultant. Your dedication and commitment to improve the living condition of the vulnerable is truly commendable. I should proudly commission this social and training skill center. Let us remember the institution, the Youth Employment Agency, Ghana Enterprise Agency, CTVET, TVET, Father Campbell Foundation, Get Fund, Common Fund. These eight institutions, if I can put it, came together and today we are witnessing a very beautiful ceremony. The question then is, after today, what is next? After His Excellency, the Vice President, has finished this program, we go and do the commissioning. After the commissioning, tomorrow, we will start the registration of the Kayaye. Hopefully by Friday, 
all the first batch, there will be 600 of them. 300 at Medina, 300 at Ashama. We'll have finished the registration and we'll onboard them on Monday and they will start the training exercise. Basically, the Kasa <laughs> Zuma na wanye biso ngon pa kya mazo ngon nye te jilma lana. To zo o, adwa shaltam kul sura nana wantam te te jenna wantam te te jenna mazo ngon te te. Ngon nye Dr. Alhaji Mahmoud Baumia. Pankan na mo beshi selba tahle na no te te so. O ya no ya wola so kam den ya nan shampo di. Dama kaso kama in shukuru. Kaso kam kana wun balga shukuru ti. Omi yali ya nungu na kanda mabi ya nungu wabu kapati nyala buku long party Tatangbanzo ila nungu mba saatili Ndumala na wuna namtu nungu anungu maadaba saataba Toruzo nungu na kanda maa shukuri ya ho Abe shukuri ho Sheka nubia ha nungu maa karatu anwale Kanzandi tuwa yara manama Nituwa msan maabe nya Tuwa mabi san maa muna chali ya kata dago oku pai Zunga musule na maa Jihadi tuwa mba mini ya za Karaza ya na kampen besi ya sa shaitan chanma Kata tangbanzo ila nvale nyali Mini ya, nini, mani, banji chongwa za kuto utumda atuma Fasheti yino kami yisa zani ya nara patami Kata dago chanta za jumani Kaya nchangna maana kara pala silmi nsile kara kaya nchangta yala kana mpago Turuzo utada fana maa, mbana maa, mbana maa Ya tu angano kwe yale ya nyala first born ma failure Chari ya kata zang second born ma cha It is time for the second born So ngay ya ma it is time for the second born First born ma yi faili it is time for the second born ma na ma Chari ya kata zong o sang 2025 insha Allah Kwa pa alu kurani kare garto ni Kangwe yang pa baibul pa e kare pa hai Kan jumala na wun katang ban ma ma titi za ha Ka pa ba nye lare Katang kan na zan waka lor na mpye lu ula kam kato kuto nye polo zane Ka maka nina yam lu ula kam kato kuto nye Ka da bilam yam lu ula kam kato kuto nye Ka so kam bia wun yabu ka kare ma kata nung mbom fanga Kare tui ka musulu su tui Kata dolo dole nung ba tui Jama salam alaykum It is time for the second born it is time for the second born. It is time for the second born. Salam alaikum. Salam, thank you so much. Great jobs for the youth. Today, our sisters are also getting their first share of these interventions through the Kaya Ye Empowerment Program. These programs are to ignite and unleash the innovative and entrepreneurial spirit of our young people to mark a conscious departure from seeking jobs towards job creation <laughs> seekers to achieve a negative deficit who can also <laughs> when the beneficiaries in this school which I call the entire year in this school we will ensure we give them intensive opportunities to enable them to get more funds from the 
Congratulate His Excellency the President. In fact, the President come 2025. That's why I'm going ahead with it. This has been your dream and most of the encounters that I've had with you. You've always reiterated the fact that you want to scale our KIAs in the South and across the country. And true to your word, you have kept to it and I'm happy to see today. Your commitment to TVET has been recognized by the German government and all in Ghana. You have supported His Excellency the President to change TVET and to transform, to make sure the young ones are skilled to support our economy. You brought a lot of transformation in the country. Yangwise Mkra Omoko and Sanwe Juman Titi Yewa Ghana Hano Akosura Kodru 60,000. Most of the schools are near Konyinano, in Fidi Juma and Ohono Ne Kofom, Wa Daroma, Wa Bua, Ama Yedi in Fidi Akoho, and Ne Se Ye Bie Kayayo Empowerment Training Institute or Center Yanoa, Na Ese Ye Bawa Basopa. Now, dear Baku and Dawa Kumasu, a Mepnu, a Mepnu, a Mepnu, in T. and Yaya Wanga, our commission for Tibet, Sir and now what is our day Eba, in T. as we are commission, you know, said the Wadaruma, Omaya Soteano, ya accrediting Santano, into one of the Kakos, you are dealing in a and your name qua, no bet media to us who are a consumer pomo, in Tigana Mepnu, a ma and a memen in a Yet Dawasi, Emma Yuayuko, Nayanim Senya Kupon Pa, come twenty twenty five, January, Yankupon Pa, your president, Ayena, your Babuano, Nawesai, Sagana Mampeni, Aya His Excellency, Alahaji, Doctor Mahamudu, Baumia, Namin Shrao. It is possible. Thank you so much. Thank you so much from the Commission of TVET, CTVET. We are very, very grateful. Uh, let me also acknowledge and say that we have also in our presence here uh, other dignitaries, including the Director General in charge of Ghana Technical Vocational Education. Family. Amina made the difficult journey to Accra. What awaited her, however, was far from the life she envisioned in the bustling and sprawling markets of Abobloshi and Kantamanto, Amina became a head porter, facing an endless array of challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, Amina lives in a cramped, constantly hot single room with many other women, with no ventilation and barely any space to rest. Each night, Amina navigates a dangerous existence, relying on the uncertain protection of her peers, and at times, falling, play, falling prey to exploitation and abuse by those who see her vulnerability as an opportunity for their gain. She faces constant threats to her health and safety, with limited access to medical care and support systems. The dream that brought Amina to Accra too often became a daily struggle for survival. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the story of Amina is not unique. So is the story of Adiza. So is the so story of Rafia. The story of Aisha. The story of Fatima. Mariama and others. Currently, Ghana has over 100,000 headquarters, the majority of whom come from the northern regions, each with their own tale of hardship and resilience. Ladies and gentlemen, these women, our Kayaye, they endure immense challenges, including lack of shelter, maltreatment, harassment, the collaborative effort between state bodies, private sectors, and civil society organizations is designed to uplift, empower, and provide solutions for our Kaya years. Through the Kaya Year Empowerment Program, we will provide decent accommodation and equip these women with vital skills, enabling them to secure dignified jobs and support their families. Our program adopts an extensive recruitment process, offering training in crucial skills such as baking, beading, soap making, and many more. Additionally, we cover essential soft skills like personal health care and financial literacy to ensure holistic development. Ago, Mr. Mo, Brafuka, baby, by me, Kenya, and I see a chair say, and then the man patch your floor say, Hanifa, Mrs. Taya, would you know, hey, say a funnel, a will program me, you move, Yamibo, a Monday, or rap program, Nemo Krana, why ye Ebermano, allowance of five hundred Ghana cities. Five million old Ghana cities. Now, Rema, you bet much, Reno. Bees, I went here now. You a man to a musician, you know. And I said, you to your son, a bit to a man. Say, yes, I'm poor. You bet, Reno, baking. And then, obey me the SM, I a pan, obey to me the SM, I a chips. Be beer or person or your piano, obey to me, I a. Na your mom would train in any area, and so ho. Your best search, you know, personal hygiene. Near Cassay, you know, you are so who call now. We are training in any area now. Quite a Jumano Crana, men got to not get a gata, no, and a man could get a baby and any and fire dear emerald, and also so your better. No, you are so your channel, the Bronibe Cassay, financial literacy. And I, the Bobby Brea or Mojuma, now so or Munim said, Yeah, you shall see Castle Nigina, your bachelor, Yen Yamo, and Maya or Mo, your bed. How so, Munina or a dime barcum, our Mobeda, a war entity, your papa or Mobecum, no mere training in area, or people say, You're mere training in your dear baby, Yabba more, more Acadia or Modi Abedomo, and to Mrs. Day. So we see a baby to say, eh, be, be, sir, be making a, oh, yeah, a cut you, yeah, a bemana dinner, who's a master, or no, I bet me, I get a jumano, yeah, 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 the bemano. I go, I go, mom, mom, and some, I go, I go, mom, mom, and some, mom, mom, and tinny, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the initial training phase aims to empower 5,000 headquarters, starting with batches of 600 at our dedicated residential facilities in Medina and Ashama. Participants will receive stipends during their training to offset any loss of income for their usual trade. Manka, so why ye as I'm more five hundred no more room now? Or more room so I ever saw more five hundred. It's one man to know, or be a banger thousand Ghana cities. No, ten million Ghana.
Ago. The Youth Employment Agency will be committed to the payment of these monthly stipends. Beneficiary Bia, Yanfia Community Police, Community Health, Skills Training, Obia, Yandeka, Yakas, Yabetio, Yabetia, Unginiana, Mesok Mukama Minti, Unginiana. Standing on the protocols already, yes, please. Yes, we need Mr. Mama. Please, our girls are here to present to everyone here and His Excellency their life before the skills training and after the skills training, how they perceive their lives to be. Thank you very much. Thank you. 